Hello, can anyone hear me? Oh my God, I'm left here all alone and I'm millions of light years away from the support center. If I want to communicate with them by optical communication, it will take several million years. Maybe there is a second way so that I can communicate with them regardless of our distance. I understood. Quantum entanglement. This is the only way out of this situation. Hello, can anyone hear me? Yes, what is the problem? As you have seen, an astronaut was lost in the interstellar space and her distance from the nearest support base was several million light years. But he was able to communicate with his support by quantum entanglement. But how? Is it possible to communicate with our past or future with quantum communication? Or go beyond it and communicate with parallel worlds? These are all questions that arose in the minds of scientists and physics lovers with the invention of quantum science. In this video, we are going to explain exactly what quantum entanglement is with a very simple example, without the need for even the slightest prior knowledge of quantum. To fully understand this issue, just stay with us until the end of the video. And I promise you that after watching this video, your perspective on the events around you will change completely, and you will become a fan of physics and quantum science. Please, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe and like the video to support us and send this video to your friends. As you saw at the beginning of the video, the astronaut was lost in the interstellar space and due to his great distance from the center, he could not get help from radio communication and used quantum communication or quantum entanglement. First, to better understand quantum entanglement, you should be familiar with the concept called spin. And for that, I will give a very simple example so that you can fully understand it. Suppose you have a metal coin that has two sides, top and bottom. When you have not yet tossed this coin, it has both up and down states with equal probability of 50%. But as soon as you throw this coin, one of the top or bottom states will appear with 100% probability. Spin also has the same concept. It means that a fundamental particle like an electron has a 50% probability of both up and down states before measurement. But after measuring, one of the up and down states will appear with 100% probability. And we attribute plus one half to the upspin and negative one-half to the downspin. Now that you are completely familiar with the concept of spin, we should go to the main and mysterious topic of the story, which is quantum entanglement. Suppose now instead of one coin, you have two coins that are mysteriously paired together in such a way that if we toss one coin and it comes up, without a doubt the second coin will behave contrary to the first coin and will come down. Even if you repeat this test billions of times, you will see the same result. It seems that we have now been able to control the behavior of the second coin with the first coin, and the probability of the second coin comes up or down is no longer 50%, but it is directly related to the first coin. Quantum entangled particles also perform the same behavior similar to coins. In this way, the spin of the second particle is always opposite to the spin of the first particle. But the main point of the story is that for these two particles, it doesn't matter how far they are from each other. Because the smallest change as a result of the test on the first particle, quickly and at the same moment, regardless of their distance from each other, affects the second particle as well. Now how to use this property and establish quantum communication? It is very simple. You just need to make an agreement between you and the person you want to communicate with that if the spin of the particle goes up for him, it means zero. And if the spin goes down for him after the measurement, the number is considered one. And now because you know that if spin up appeared for you, it means that for him with 100% probability, spin-down appeared. 
you communicate with the numbers 0 and 1 in an encrypted form, just like the language of today's computers. For example, the number 1001 means hello, etc. So, so far, we have learned that with quantum entanglement, we can communicate instantaneously, regardless of the distance, just like in the beginning of the video. But this quantum relationship has a very big problem, and that is that we have accepted that the spin-up is zero and the spin-down is one, but we have no control over what spin appears. And this is completely random and out of our reach, and scientists have not yet been able to find a solution to this problem. But one solution that comes to my mind is that we can define a time interval in such a way that, for example, I now want to send the number zero to the center. So the spin of my particle must be down, so that the spin of the particle in the center is up. Then I measure the particle. It shows the spin up, which is not what I want. But I can sign an agreement with the center that if the interval between the codes is less than one second, it means that the spin of the particle is my arbitrary. But if it takes more than one second, it means that this spin is not my arbitrary and wait for my next code. Now, you may think that this process is very long and time consuming, but I gave an example of one second for your better understanding. In today's computers, this amount of time can be defined as one billionth of a second, and we can communicate at a much higher speed. In your opinion, what solution to solve this problem can work so that maybe we can witness quantum communication in the future? As I said at the beginning of the video, it is possible to establish communication between different times with quantum entanglement, and scientists have been able to prove it with mathematics and equations, but they have not yet been able to prove it experimentally like quantum communication. But don't forget that today's greatest theories, such as black holes and gravitational waves, were initially an imagination, which were later proved by mathematics and years later were experimentally proven. As Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress, giving birth to evolution. And maybe one day we will be able to travel in different times or other parallel worlds. And the key to solving this puzzle is quantum entanglement. For more information about the parallel world, watch the video shown on the left side of the image.